welcome to the Lean Girl Kitchen. Today we are making the most requested festive dish, a low calorie trifle. So if your goal is fat loss and you love festive treats like your honey over here, then you are in the right place. And let me tell you, this recipe is so freaking simple. Like it actually feels like I, I was not sure if it deserved a whole long YouTube video, hence why this video is probably going to be pretty short, but it is so easy. And I know that a trifle is a festive thing, like it's something we generally have around Christmas time, but this is so good and it's actually so packed with nutrients. Like I would consider this like a super nutritious, healthy dessert recipe that you should have throughout the year if you love a trifle. And even if you don't love a trifle, but like this chick, it's probably not my favorite dessert ever, but this version is so freaking good. And again, so simple. Let me grab the ingredients. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna need and then I'm gonna talk you through this lovely layered number. So if you're interested on how I actually go about making low-cal high, high protein versions of all our favorite things here on YouTube, is that I look at each ingredient and I'm like, cool, what kind of swap could I make that would be just as yummy and low calorie? And so that's how I generally strategize and go about it. So for the cake part, which is the first layer in any trifle, I am using lamingtons. So it's basically a sponge cake that has been dipped in chocolate and coated with coconut. So these are actually the ones I got from Checkers. The calories are unfortunately not on this one, but I based the calories off of the lamingtons that you can get from Woolworths. So just FYI, everything is calculated for you and I'm gonna show you the macros at the end. So they are basically just soft little pieces of delicious cake. And so for our four trifles, which is what we are gonna be going for today, this is gonna make four servings. What I love about this is you could also just adjust and throw in your own combinations of things and quantities. So if, for example, if you like more jelly in your trifle, you can put more jelly in. If you like more fruit, you can do that. So you can also have fun or you can just copy this one exactly. I was contemplating making one big trifle or mini ones and I ended up going with single portions. So each one of these glasses is gonna be a single portion trifle. And let me actually move this so you can see what I'm doing. So um, yes, so they're gonna be single portions. So if you only have two guests coming over for Christmas or you're just making for you and your hubby or you and your family, you could of course just make a smaller portion and kind of um, do the ingredients half if you'd like. So what we're gonna do for our cake layer is we're just gonna cut these little lamingtons. So I'm gonna use three for the four, um, for the four glasses. Again, if you like more cake in yours, you can also do that. But I thought we could not make a trifle without the cake layer. I'm a finger licker, guys. If you count how many times I lick my fingers in these videos, like, I'm sure no one's gonna wanna eat all of the food that I make, cause it's, it's finger licking good. And I've probably like touched everything. So our first layer of our cake, we are going to be pop popping into the bottom. And so the trick with the trifle is we want to be able to see the beautiful layers. So that way you want to work from the outside in so that we have those layers racking up on the outside. Done. Another thing is you want to try and keep your glasses as clean as possible as you're putting things in. I'm not doing a great job. Um, but that make, gives us those beautiful layers that you can clearly see that don't look like messy or muddy or whatever. Okay, then the next layer we are going to add is some of our fruit. So you can add whatever fruit you love. I have gone for low calorie fruits. So we're gonna do strawberries, um, blueberries, and I've also got peaches and cherries. So the way that I'm gonna start this off is I'm going to add just a layer of strawberries on top of our cake. And I'm gonna mix the blueberries and strawberries here so we can get a nice little variety of everything. So I love the beautiful colors that comes out. And if you have any holes 
where your cake didn't quite reach, you can also plug those with your fruit. All right, now we're gonna do an experiment. I have seen how beautiful this looks, but I don't know if this is gonna work. So we are experimenting here. But I cut a couple of strawberries to just have like thin slices like this. And I've seen people like just make it look really beautiful on the edge of the glass. Whether these are going to stay up, we will see by the end of this video. So I'm just gonna pop these on the outside of the glass and cross fingers. Okay, now the next lovely swap is we are using the Ultramol Zero Custard instead of normal custard. Instead of homemade, also this is so much easier. You don't have to do an extra step by making custard. And the calories and macros are amazing. Like honestly, if you just wanted to have some low calorie jelly and custard, like this is, I actually have one of these recipes on my kitchen coach, which little promo, it's my ultimate meal planning tool and recipe hub for fat loss that has all of these recipes. You don't have to go hunting on Instagram or on YouTube to find them. All the recipes I ever make, you will find there. So we are gonna add a little dollop of custard now, which is also just gonna fill in all of our lovely gaps here and hopefully keep our strawberries in place. All right, beautiful. Now we're gonna add our jelly and I have used this Simply Delish uh, Zero Jelly that basically the whole packet is like 10 calories, which is crazy. I made this a little bit earlier. It actually was super quick to set, I think around less than an hour. Um, and so we're just gonna sort of cube up this jelly to make it easy to spoon in. Cause you don't want it totally pulverized. So pretty. Okay, we're almost there. I now have some beautiful tinned peaches. It needs to be the peaches in juice, not the peaches in syrup. But these are actually also a fab local um, addition to like having a little dessert again with the custard. You can just have peaches and custard and it's a delicious, divine local dessert. So we're gonna add a couple of slices of peaches. Eek, they are looking so gorgeous. Okay, now our topping, we are gonna do a sweet cottage cheese, obviously, because we couldn't do a lean girl recipe without a bit of cottage cheese. So normally people do cream on top, which if you wanna have a bit of an indulgent one, go ahead and do the cream. But this is even gonna add a bit of protein into it, which we love. So I'm just gonna sweeten this up with some sweetener drops. We're gonna top it on, put it on top, some cherries, and we're done. Okay, so the trick is you actually wanna dollop it in the middle and then spread it out so that you don't just completely mess up um, all of the beautiful edges. So you could probably, probably doing this with a smaller spoon would be a good idea. And you really wanna fill it up to the top. And again, if you wanted to do smaller glasses and smaller portions, like you could also totally do this. I feel like this is so extra. It's huge. Um, these are just the size of my glasses. So, but listen, at 200 calories, or just over 200 calories, I will take a huge dessert. Thank you. This is good enough to have on Christmas. And it looks so freaking festive. And if you'd like, for fun, you can also top it off with a couple of cherries. And there we have our Lean Girl low calorie trifle that you and your family are going to be obsessed with. People are going to be impressed. And if you love this one, you also have to check out my Lean Girl low calorie mulva. It is a golden oldie on my channel, like one of my most popular, popular videos because the recipe is so good. It's less than half the calories of a normal mulva, which is another South African favorite dish. Give me a love in the comments if you love a good mulva. And before I forget, if you show some love on the channel, one girl every single week gets free access to my Lean Girl Kitchen Coach Ultimate Recipe Hub and meal planning tool for fat loss, especially for South African girls with every single recipe I ever make. It's all in one place, calorie and macro counted for you, ready to shop, cook and eat. So 
one lucky girl can either win it or you can just go and sign yourself up and have immediate access. I know I'm all about the immediate, immediate um, gratification of that. So if you don't want to wait until next week to see if you won, then hit up, I'll put the link down below in the description. You can check out the hub and yay! I hope that you love the recipe. I hope that you try it out and I will see you back here on the Lean Girl YouTube channel for more delicious ways to get lean.